Hey, this is Tom Arbuthnot. We're here on the Ignite 2017 floor and I'm here at the Polycom booth with Jose and uh, we're going to see some more new Polycom stuff. So what are we going to see now? Yeah, so here uh, what we're showing is, just like I showed last time, we have our Skype room system. Um, yep. This Skype room, room system is uh, our MSR300 model. Basically what that means is we have this uh, connected to our Trio 8800 for better audio quality sound mm -hmm. with our pan tilt zoom camera, right? So the idea for us is you come into the room, you could start you, the meeting fairly easily, you yep. walk in. I'm the only one on the call, but there's a video right coming from that. And this is cool, right? So the trio is running in like a USB mode. So it's it's all similar. I see hang up and hang up is Correct. the same. Absolutely. Mic is the same. Cool. When I mute here, you know, the mic comes in and mutes there. Yep. You know, whatever, it doesn't matter. So they're all tied and integrated. Now, one of the things that we've added on this particular model is, so the, the recently Microsoft added dual screen support for yep for a Skype room system, right? So I have people on one side and content on the other. And right now, the support model is you come in and you press an HDMI, you plug in an HDMI. Mm -hmm. But what if you don't have an HDMI and you have wireless content sharing that you want to do? A lot of br people bring iOS devices or even Miracast devices. Yeah, yeah, and there's about like half a dozen different connectors now. So exactly. you need HDMI to micro to mini, whatever it is. Exactly, so connected to this via HDMI, yep. I have uh, something called a panel, Polycom panel. We launched this about uh, three months ago. Mm -hmm. um, and what it is, is is a, you know, the, the mouse doesn't go with it, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but what it is, is the HDMI connects into the HDMI input of the, surf, uh, the, the Skype room system. Yep. And so what it allows for me to do is, A, I can still wire in, right? So I can grab this device and if I have the right plug and connector, when I plug this in, it's going to come up and the panel is going to cast my app up there, Very right? Very cool. And now that's, that's all part of the meeting now, isn't it? You correct, just... correct. So if whoever I'm with in the meeting on the other side is going to receive my content. What, what we see a lot with Skype is people not understanding that. They think that you have to join the Skype meeting right. and broadcast, but you could just plug in one there. Correct, away. right here. In fact, if I just go to the content button and I stop the content, no one's presenting, right? Yeah. So I can just do that. Now, the interesting thing is that I, right now I had to actually HDMI in there. Yep. But if I don't have HDMI capabilities, you know that on the, on the Windows 10 devices, I could just go to Windows P, find a wireless display, and notice that in this one I'm going to find one that actually says Pano. Cool. Right? So when I click Pano here, the same thing that would, that would happen if I were to plug this guy in, notice that now I've just casted my yeah, screen to it wirelessly, cool. right? So now uh, you can come in with your iOS device, you can shoot your content up there. I could mirror cast to that. If I have an Android device, I can also cast to it. There was no additional apps I needed to make this stuff work. Yeah. And it's all being transported by Skype's natural transport yeah, engine, so, which so, is So remote whatever. attendees are getting this as content. Exactly. But you can rock up in the room wireless and have presentation. Correct. And, and, and just to kind of demo, like this is a, a cheesy way of doing this, but uh, show you kind of what the experience would be like. If I had another content input, what you'll see is, so this is going to show a second screen, but then the third screen would come up, the fourth oh, screen would come up. So That's it's at cool. the same time. So I don't have to say, hey, can you stop sharing so I yeah, can share? Yeah, very cool. And if I plug this into a touch screen monitor, now I can begin to manipulate the content and move the screens around however yeah, I Yeah, I see, I see you've got the, the edit buttons here. So exactly. I've, 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 I've played with this before. If you have it on touch, you can annotate. Exactly. So just to, I, I have a mouse to kind of emulate that, but if I wanted to make this screen bigger, I just double click on it. If I wanted to, to annotate something from here, I would yeah. click here and then say, hey, I'm drawing with my finger. Yeah, yeah. I can save this, right? I can take a screenshot of this, save it, and later on put it up to my OneDrive go out there and manipulate the content from there. Cool. So so really adding a lot of value to something that's already existing with yeah. the Skype room system. Okay, so just to recap, so we've got the, the, the room system from Polycom, yep. and you can buy that as a bundle with the with the trio, with the camera, yep. and then the pano is an extra add-on if you wanted to. And correct. I, I presume you can get the pano on its own as well. On its you? own, correct, yeah. yep. So the idea is modularity, right? If in, in some rooms you might not need something this big and fancy, yeah. you might need just a little Logitech camera and a little, you know, whatever. And if you want additional uh, wireless sharing capabilities, you can add on to it. Awesome. Yep. Cool. And if people want to find out more, what's the best thing to do? Polycom.com. Awesome. Uh, we've gone digital. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jose. Thanks, Tom. Always a pleasure. Thank you.